picture. <laughs> Pictures from 93, Japan trip. I was younger. Only picture I had with a tie and a suit. I'm sweat man, right? In shorts and flip-flops. Anyhow, um, before I begin, I would like to thank the Hall of Fame committee for, for this wonderful day and all the other inductees. Congratulations and thanking family and friends for being here. I'm forgetting my glasses. I'm having a hard time. In 1974, I joined the Merced High School wrestling program and never thought uh, my involvement in wrestling would span over the next six decades, part of six decades. My high school coach, Steve Sanchez, was a father figure to most of us on the team and very influential on our lives and futures. Coach had the best job in the world. We couldn't help but want to follow his path. Myself, along with four of my teammates, all became PE teachers, wrestling coaches. One of my closest friends, sitting with Coach Sanchez over there, Adam Questis, along with his brother Dan, both state champions, both NC2A champions, motivated me every day to do my best. They were intense and always setting the standard high for success. Thank you, Adam, for everything you did, your guidance, your friendship, and your support over the last 47 years. Thank you. I was just a three-year varsity letterman. Uh, I was one match away from placing in the hate state meet. I did okay. I moved to the Bay Area, wrestled for a college where my high school co co uh, coach went to, Diablo Valley College. I did okay there. I placed twice at the JC State meet. I tried my hand over at Cal State Bakersfield for one year, and then I kind of packed up, came back, and graduated from St. Mary's College. Uh, I tried, but it just didn't work out over there. Um, I spent the next 40 years teaching physical education, coaching at College Park High School, team leader of Pleasant Hill Wrestling Club, regional and national coach, sta uh, staff, USWO official, NC2A official, and currently a very happy high school official. I'm always seem to be smiling during my matches. <laughs> Coaching high school was a big part of my life in the beginning. One of our biggest accomplishments was stepping on the podium at uh, the state meet. And my team, my 93 team, took fourth place. Uh, today, that's common occurrence if you're from the track league. But for us other folk out there, you might get lucky one time in your career and get a banner at the state championships. Uh, I want to thank Donnie Valdez, one of my coaches back there, class of 89. There's about seven of them back there that wrestled for me and uh, Cliff Strand for the assistant coach back then. Uh, I had one crazy guy that I met back in 86 to help coach those guys, that was John Welch. Thank you very much for being a big part of College Park Wrestling, John Welch. Uh, I had the opportunity to coach four outstanding individuals over my career. And you know, it's not all about wins and losses, but these people were very special to me in my heart, pretty much like sons. Uh, Brian Sergi, he was a state champion. Casey Strand, he was a state champion. Jim Keck finished third in the state meet, but if the referee had made the right call, he would have won. <laughs> the guy spiral right him for the whole damn third period, never got a warning for stalling. And last but not least, Jason Welch. Uh, in 2011, the Pleasant Hill Wrestling Club wrestled in Tulare. And we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We traveled with 15 or 20 kids and stayed in hotels. And a lot of you guys out here are my friends over the last 40 years. But I had three state champions that year at the Junior Freestyle State Meet. I had Brian Sergi, I had Ori Elor, and I had my son Casey Strand, or Casey Salmon right over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, he has the same name. Uh, anyhow, coaching was my passion, but it was time to move on. In 1997, I started officiating high school and college wrestling. This new addiction would keep me involved in the sport for many more years to come. Over the next 26 years, I would officiate many state championships, work with many great officials. I raised the hands of Terrapelli, Valencia, Pico, Mejia, Varner, and many more. Um, I worked with some great officials, Lynn Dyke, Pat Lovell, Monty Mueller, Randy Hartman, Cody Olson, Ken Gaudreau, 
and another mother or brother from another mother, Jimmy Chen. I'm close. All right, Abram Ross, I just want you to know the best official in the high school state championships these days is sitting at my table, Mark Hayes. <laughs> Abram Ross, you are number two. My passion for wrestling started many years ago, but never have I happened without, it would have never happened without my beautiful wife, Kirsten Salmon. We met at a wrestling match. She was keeping stats. I was competing. Two years later, we were married. There, were, there was a time when I struggled and uh, had a difficulty in school and thought about walking away. But my wife made sure that I would stick it out and finish what I started. So anyhow, I just want to tell you, Kirsten, this would have never happened without you. And uh, I miss you dearly. Love you guys. Let's go.